Dig it, Hepcats! This is Drew from NeoTigo Games, and today I wanted to share with you guys my first video game review. So it's January 2021. Uh, at this point, I've been working on Gloom and Doom for about 10 months now. It's been a hell of a lot of sleepless nights. I've been just working non-stop. I have been emailing and emailing and tweeting you know, all these reviewers, all these websites, all these streamers. And honestly, uh, I wasn't really getting much in the way of replies. So. I was really kind of exhausted. I mean, to be honest, I was even having difficulty trying to get my friends to play the game, just to give me some kind of feedback, something to help. And you know, just, am, am I going in the right direction? Uh, is this game playable or not? And and so it was really, really difficult. And this was probably one of like the low points in my in, in my life because I'm just feeling so. I don't know. I, I I think you game devs might feel this way too, but you feel really really alone out there it's just you your game that's like an extension of who you are and nobody really caring kind of means no one you feel like no one cares about you and you're alone so it's a horrible feeling what happened was one afternoon um, I'm just walking out to buy dinner for my family so I'm just walking on the street, listening to explosions in the sky on my headphones. And I get this message on my phone saying, I got my first review. So I quickly pull out my phone, go to, go to the website, a website called Hardware Zone. I flick open to it and uh, it's this writer named Tim Augustine. Never really, you know, I've never read his stuff before. I don't know, really know who he is, but I'm reading it and you know, you can imagine I'm really anxious at this point because I have no idea what you know anyone's going to write about my game. I know I have no idea what they're going to uh, feel about it, especially someone who has no idea who I am either. And lo and behold, it was good. This person liked uh, liked my game, and they had he had good things to say about it. I mean, not only that, but I I think on a on a deeper level, what I really appreciated was. Like um, this, Tim Augustine understood what I was trying to do with my game. He, he kind of understood the references. He understood, you know, the direction where I was going with it, and and he liked that. He liked it for what, you know, no, not just what it is, but he liked it for what it was supposed to be as well. You know, so <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not gonna lie, but at that point, I really just started breaking down and, and kind of crying <laughs> right there on the sidewalk and it, it started out as one of those like controlled cries you know something a bit like more macho and manly like like you know like Tom Cruise and Top Gun when after Goose dies it's just like a, you know <laughs> and I'm reading it but like the more and more as I as I read into it and the, the more I read that this reviewer understands what I was trying to do I, I I was flat out ugly crying right there, <laughs> just right there on the street. I, I, I had to just kind of stop and just, you know, walk into a corner somewhere. I'm just like kind of ugly crying for a while. But you know, I, I, I didn't really care. <laughs> I'm just so tired. I'm so exhausted and emotionally spent. And this was me finally feeling validated. And so, you know, if, if people are walking by going, oh, what, what's this not doing, you know, crying and by, you know, right there by himself, I'm like, I don't care. I, I've, I've, I'm feeling vindicated and I'm really happy about this. I'm going to relish this moment. And, you know, the fact that I was listening to explosions in the sky probably turned my emo-ness up, you know, another couple of notches, but it was just... <sighs> I'm, I'm never going to forget that moment. And one thing I did immediately after was I added this uh, additional scene in Gloom and Doom where Winona flat out ugly cries. And I mean, it's an ugly drawing. I mean, to be I, I mean, I wanted her to ugly cry, but it was a really badly drawn CG. So <laughs> it was just ugly, ugly and really ugly, but it'll do. So why I really wanted to share this experience was kind of for two reasons. One for all you game reviewers out there professional ones casual ones you should understand that you have a lot of power with your words what you write can really affect someone 
and I'm not saying you should only write good stuff, but you know, just be aware of that and I guess be careful with that power you're wielding. And number two, for all you first time game devs out there who are just struggling and you probably have moments where you feel like no one really cares and I just want you to know that at some point in time if you finish your game and someone plays it it's likely that someone out there is going to like and connect with your game for what it is and that moment is going to make everything worthwhile for you you are going to feel validated and it's a it's a powerful feeling and even if it happens just at one time I think that one time is going to be powerful enough to drive you and, and keep you going to do more to finish that game and do more games so don't stop okay just keep just keep making games keep doing what you're doing and don't stop so how about that I think I managed to reduce the amount of times I said you know by about 80 90 percent compared to like the last video so if you appreciate the effort I put into not saying you know then maybe you can like the video and subscribe to my channel for more attempts of me trying not to say you know and it's getting really really difficult now so I'm just going to stop <laughs>